understand modeling in 3D Max, before we go any further, we need to understand uh, orthographic drawings and perspective drawings. Orthographic drawings, the left, top, front, can actually consist of six different projections. Top, bottom, front, back, left, and right sides. These little view cubes right here indicate that. So anytime we see a flat cube, we're looking at it straight on. That's the top. Left. This is the front. In 3D Max, we can change those. So right up here, if we click on top, click on top, and here are our projections that we can change. Now we're going to keep it the same. When we draw, at least starting in, in this class, we're going to keep it left, top, front. But you do have the option of changing, say, left, instead of the left side to the right side. And that would go along with our orthographic drawings here. One other, th one other thing we need to understand about 3D Max is that we are drawing 3D models. Traditionally, we're used to the X and Y coordinates. And we have seen those throughout our lives drawn like this where we have our X and we have our Y. This is a two-dimensional grid. In order for us to draw in 3D we have to add another axis called the Z axis. So now we have X, Y, and Z. Now Z is not at a 45 degree angle from X and Y. It's actually going behind X and Y to produce that three-dimensional look. In this uh, Cartesian coordinate system, the, the X and the Y, where these X, Y, and the Z intersect, we're going to draw the others here. Where they intersect is going to be our 0, 0, 0 coordinate. So traditionally, we used to write it X, Y. Now we have to add our Z coordinates. So we have our triple zero, 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 zero. So if we have something at position one on the X, at position two on the Y, and at position three on the Z, it's going to be drawn somewhere over here. And our coordinates are going to be 1, 2, 3, X, Y, and Z.